What is up everybody, my name is Andrew and welcome to Space Engineer Survival on the lovely planet of Pertam. This is episode number three and we have to get things started pretty quickly because last episode something happened that I did not really realize the implications of. Uh, last episode, if you remember, we crashed our rover right at the very end and we lost a couple of parts. And it's not really a big deal because most of the stuff that was on it, we can repair. We, uh, we were able to re uh, rebuild this cargo container so that we have one. Oh, hang on. Let me press J to put my... Uh, put my helmet on because it looks like there's probably a storm coming if we look over there there's a sandstorm but uh but one of the things that happened one of the things we lost on our ship is the survival kit and that just so happens to be something that i cannot repair because the survival kit requires something that requires um silver and we have not found silver yet so what does that mean well pretty much that means if we die uh, for whatever reason, be it the sandstorm or be it just falling at a ridiculously fast speed, um, we're not going to spawn here at our base. We're going to spawn instead in the sky somewhere random <laughs> around the planet. So that's not a good thing. Obviously, we should probably not let that happen. So first, we need to not die. And second, we probably need to find silver so that we can get some some sort of, uh, of survival kit or medical bay set up. So that's going to be our first goal is to find something like that. And our second goal is going to be, I kind of want to extend the base a little bit. Um, starting with the hangar, we can probably get the hangar going a little bit. Uh, so in episode one, I highlighted that this right here would be a nice uh, place for a hangar because it kind of naturally uh, dips down right here. So that could work pretty well. Uh, and the other thing I want to do is I want to kind of extend towards that mountain right there. I kind of have this idea of us boring into the mountain maybe and like building like a little base inside the mountain, like a, like a segment of the base inside. So we'd have kind of a hybrid part where part of it's inside and part of it's outside. So I guess let's uh, let's get things going. We're going to start with the uh, the rover thing. Um, so let's go and see if we can find some silver. That's our main goal. Uh, now we don't have to worry about the uh, oxygen and the hydrogen, which is something I was a little bit worried about uh, because it turns out that our O2H2 generator didn't didn't sustain any damages. So we still have like these bottles, which I'm actually going to go and go ahead and grab. And we have some ice as well. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can go find some silver. We're going to go out when there's a snowstorm, which is never a great idea, but we have the power, so we should be good. All right, let's get it going. Um, I'm going to head off in... Actually, I'm going to head off in this direction behind us. Let's go under here and we're going to go around. Now the snowstorm might be pretty... Or the, not the snowstorm, but the storm itself might be uh, bad for visibility, but it should be fine because they don't last that long. Um, anyway, we're going to head this way. I want to see what's over here. I think it was nickel, if I recall correctly. Uh, no, it was silicon, not nickel. Okay, we're going to head off in this direction, kind of toward those trees. Now, I was told, by the way, in some comments, and I'm just remember remembering this now, I was told that under trees is usually ice. So, is that true? I don't know. Let's, uh, maybe we can try and dig down and see if that is the case, because if it is, then that is a good source of ice, because it's supposedly really rare on this planet. Let's, uh, let's press P to engage our parking brake, and let's start digging a little bit. Now, I added a couple of mods uh, to the game just to make things a little bit nicer. You might notice this, uh, the storm is quieter. I added uh, Splitzy's Sneaky Sounds mod, which lowers the sound of the drill and the storm, so hopefully they're not nearly as loud as before. Uh, I added Build Vision 2.0 because it's just nice to have. Um, I'm probably not going to use it very much unless I'm dealing with rotors and stuff like that. Uh, but I added some camera mods as well just because they're also nice to have in case we use cameras. Uh, rotating camera specifically and um, the clear camera overlay. Okay, let's go down a little bit. I want to see if we can spot some ice on our uh, on our detector. I don't know how low it will be, but uh, if we can find some, that would be a really good like thing to know about because the ice we have in our thing currently is not going to last forever. Okay, I'm not actually seeing any quite yet, so that's kind of making me think it's not here at all, unless it's just really low. Okay, we've gone, we've gone down... Oh, good lord. What the heck was that? Did I just get, like, stuck on one of those things right there? Uh, we went down pretty far and we still didn't find any ice. So I don't think it's even here. Um, so I don't, I don't know about those comments that said that there's ice under these things. Maybe there is. Maybe it's kind of rare. Who knows? But uh, let's get back in this thing and let's continue looking for spots of, uh, of ore that we can look for silver in. You know, it kind of seems like we only ever venture out in, like, the lowest visibility environments. Is that... Okay, no. I, th I thought that rock might be, like, an ore of some kind, but no. It's it's just a rock. Uh, but yeah, it's either it's always either storming or it's, like, dark. Maybe we should probably only venture out when it's, uh, when it's very clear out. But, you know, we're already out here, so... Oh, man. Looking like a ghost town over here. Oh, here's one of our markers. This must be the one for iron. 
Uh, yeah, this is the one for iron. We need to watch out for the hole. Um, is there any ice in this one? Because this is also a green area where there's trees. I'm not seeing any ice. We'll, we'll kind of drive around here a little bit to see if there might be some over there by, uh, by these trees. But yeah, no, I'm not seeing any ice. Unless it's like really, really far down. But I would assume we would see it up here. That's the thing with silver as well. Silver is typically really, really far down. Uh, like maybe even just out of the range of the uh, of the scanners. So sometimes you'll pass over it without even knowing. Uh, silver and gold are both like that, I think. But if we see like a white spot where there should be an ore and we don't see an ore, then that means it's further down. Man, it's kind of scary driving these rovers, isn't it? Like you never know when you're going to crash. It'd be nicer if I had like a, if I had a, a, a new survival thing so I'd survive, or not, like a new spawn thing so I'd spawn on our base. I could be a little bit more reckless, but here, like if we lose our base, how are we ever going to find it again? Remember, we're not using GPS markers, we're not using beacons, we're not using antennas. I don't know, maybe later we'll switch to, uh, to like use antennas and stuff. But for now, we're not using any of that. So the only way we find our base is if we visually can mark it out. Luckily, we see some silhouettes of our, uh, of our stuff up there, so we know where our base is. Let's head back to base and do a little bit of work on the base while this storm is going on. I don't know when it's going to end, and honestly, driving out here during a storm is, is not the best idea. Alright, base, sweet base. Okay, so first of all, oops, okay, let's not go too fast here. Press P. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, I want to actually extend this that way, so extend our base uh, pretty far that way. Let's also, you know, I said I'd do this, let's, uh, let's remove these. We don't want these anymore. Um, so let's grab all of the stuff from our refinery. Well, as much as we can carry, I don't know how much that's going to be. Actually, you know what I want to do? Let me, uh, let me put this all... I don't know if you remember, but I actually tested the survival kit versus the basic refinery. Uh, and I found that the survival kit is more efficient than the basic refinery. Although the basic refinery is faster than the survival kit. I also want to test the, uh, the normal refinery to see how that compares against these two. Uh, just with a little bit of rock, with a hundred rock. We'll test it and see, uh, see how much it produces. So I pretty much know already that the, the the main refinery is going to be faster than the uh, than the basic one. But let's see if it's more efficient as well. Just 100 stone gives us 3 iron. Wasn't that the same that the, uh, the, the um, survival kit gave? I think that was the same value. 3 iron versus like 2.4 maybe or 2.6. Okay, so this actually is on par with the efficiency of the, uh, of the basic assembler. Or of the, rather, of the survival kit. Okay, let's go ahead and throw all this stuff back in there as well. Or again, as much of it as we uh, as we possibly can. Okay, we have officially upgraded everything from uh, from the basic to the main. Let's go ahead and remove these as well, because we do not need them anymore. They are but but a piece of our history. That sounds really weird. These tools being so quiet, but it's probably honestly better for you guys. I don't have space. Let's put this stuff back. Wait, did I just get? Oh, I got everything that was inside the basic thing. Okay, makes Inventory sense. Full. I was like, why did I just get a bunch of power cells? You usually never get them back from any, uh, from any grinding, but, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Power cells. We have 87 power cells. That's enough to build a full battery. That's actually pretty good. It's always nice to have uh, at least one full battery worth of materials on hand. Uh, just, just in case, like, everything for some reason gets destroyed. Uh, then we have the ability to make a new battery, which will allow us to continue things. Hey, we can see the three planets. Nice. We got the alien planet, what looks like Mars, maybe, and what looks like an Earth planet over there. Huh, cool stuff. Um, okay, let's uh, let's grab a little bit of steel plates, and let's start kind of expanding things. Um, so, at least for this, for the, for the garage, I don't know how big I want it. Maybe, like, there, and just over here, just to make it the largest it can possibly be. And we'll uh, we'll drill out some uh, some of this area. So as we want it to um, to get deeper here, we'll we'll kind of drill this so it's level. I don't know how how deep we'll make it. We might also arc this up. Actually, that might be not a bad idea. Let's um let's see if we can do that. Number five right here. We'll go to where we started it, which is right there, and we will arc it up with one of these pieces. Uh, let's start right there. Actually, arc like that. One of them. And we'll do the same on the other side. And we'll just kind of keep doing that until it meets up in the middle. Uh, and we'll try to make like a kind of a hanger look. 
where it, where it's, uh, well, not really a hanger look, but at least make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, I'm kind of thinking something like this, where it kind of goes up like that pretty high and then comes down. Now, this is too wide, but I think what we'll do is we'll have... So, this will be like one of the main rafters. So, we'll have like t uh, a two wide right here, so you can see it's kind of pretty thick right there. But then we'll have like thinner ones for maybe like three or four blocks out to here. And then we'll have another thicker one, and then three or four blocks out to there, another thicker one. Uh, so, it'll kind of give it a little bit of texture, so it's not just all the same, um, the same look. So I think something like that, we're not going to weld them in quite yet because we we definitely don't have enough iron to do so. But um, but we at least have like kind of the look going on. Uh, now on this side, what I want to do is I want to uh, kind of extend this out toward the... Um, hey, it's nice to hear that working. Uh, I want to kind of extend this out toward the mountain to where I think we're going to like kind of dig into it. Okay, maybe out to there. And then I don't know if we'll dig in right here or if we'll go like up and then dig into the more mountainous part. It's I know it's really hard to see right now because it's so dark uh, and our flashlight doesn't go very far. But there's this gig this gigantic mountain right here. So do we want to kind of go up here with the base and then go into the mountain up there? Or do we want to go into the mountain right here and then... I don't know. I think, I think what we'll probably do actually, I think we're going to go up. I think we're going to go up this because it'll probably look nicer. Um, so maybe... I don't know. This kind of seems to keep its own level. So I wonder if we do, let's just, let's just try something here. Let's uh, turn this around. And we're just going to try and, try and go like this to see how, how, uh, how good it looks, I guess. And if it doesn't look good, we'll just, we'll tear it all down. And that's the, that's the, uh, that's the fun part of Space Engineers. Um, okay, I don't really think this looks good, actually. I thought it would. Like, I thought maybe it would look good if we kind of, like, went up like this and just followed the terrain. But no, I don't think it really does. So I think we're going to drill into the mountain down there. We'll just drill into, like, the really, uh, non-steep mountain. Okay, we're just gonna expand our base in general, then. I don't know, maybe we'll scrap the idea of going into the mountain. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to go into the mountain. Um, and if you do, we'll, we'll try something like that. Um, otherwise, we'll just kind of keep our base up here. Or, like, uh, in this general area. Uh, okay. Let's, um, let's kind of think about what we want in our base. Uh, we're gonna definitely want some sort of power room. So, I don't know... I've heard people say that lightning is a problem during storms, but so far I have not been struck by lightning, nor have I seen lightning strike anywhere near the base. So I think we're going to kind of ignore that problem. Um, this looks like a prime area. Actually, oh, oh, I've just had an idea. Let's um, let's try and keep this clear, because this looks like, like if people don't want to go into our hangar, this looks like a good drive-by. If they want to just drive by the base without going straight into the hangar. So let's go up here. Uh, we'll, we'll go up like that. And, uh, and cars will be able to drive by if they want to. Actually, um, let's go up less steep. Uh, let's, well, let's keep that, actually. Well, we're, we're going to use the less steep one so I can put stairs in eventually if I want to. Because stairs are, are much nicer to go on than, uh, than not stairs. That should be tall enough for, like, normal-sized vehicles to fit, right? I guess, you know, since, since we're, uh, let, let's just make it out of half blocks, because why not? Um, these ones, right, where are they? Here. Yeah, we'll just make it out of half blocks, just in case, like, anything needs that extra clearance. Uh, maybe, like, that big, and then we'll just kind of come back down. Uh, with, with stairs again. And that gives us a kind of blueprint for how we want things to look. Okay, so how did I do... Okay, yeah. So blocks down like that. To make this look a little bit nice, what we can do as well is if we get to our normal blocks like that, we can just step down like that, and that might look pretty nice. So something like this. So when you're going on like that, it, like it kind of looks like that. You can take the stairs, or you can take the uh, the ramp. Your choice. Yeah, I think that would look kind of cool. Um, we're not going to weld them in right now, obviously, because we don't have as much iron. But eventually, yeah, we'll weld that stuff in, and it'll look nice. So then over here, the same thing. So one sort of interesting idea as well that I've just had, or, or, or that I've been thinking about, is the idea of a, of a disjointed base. So, like, not everything really has to be on the same grid. As long as every grid has power, which we can have every grid have their own individual power sources, um, we could, for instance, have this. Like, maybe you go over here, uh, maybe you step down here, and then maybe, maybe that's the end of this base. Maybe there's nothing else, but then there's a base up over there somewhere. I think that'd be kind of cool. So they're, they're, they're both like separate bases, 
They they um they have their own power source. They have their own whatever. Uh, but you can just walk to them. Like you, you don't really need grid right here. You can just kind of walk to it on your own. I think that'd be pretty awesome. Pretty pretty unique, I should say. I don't know if it'll be awesome until I try it. But uh, but yeah, maybe we'll do that. So we'll have like a little base over by the mountain over there that might contain some stuff, and we'll have like another base over here that might have other stuff. So maybe maybe this one will be the main refining base. So we'll have all the refine, or maybe that will be the main refining base, and this will be the main rover base where we have all of our rovers. Um, like maybe three or four rovers just sitting here in our gigantic garage. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. All right, the sun is coming up over the horizon. That means it's time for our journey to see if we can find some silver. It's finally some good conditions. I mean, that would be the worst if a snow, or if a, a sandstorm were to start uh, right now. But luckily, our weather is clear, and the sun's coming up. So let's uh, set out. I don't know which direction we want to set out, but probably in the direction toward the sun, I guess. Um, let's actually go out and to the left, because we went out into the right last time. That's when we were trying to find cobalt. We never found silver. So let's go out into the left and see if we can find some uh, some stuff. It's still a little bit dark, so for the first leg of our journey, it's going to be a little tough. But um, but the sun is coming up. It's it's uh, it's on the way. So as long as we don't crash ourselves in this little bit, we should be fine. Um, so yeah, let's go out kind of that way. Woo! Got to be careful. Let's let's actually slow down a little bit. Turn on our HUD so we can see what speed we're going. I did not see that thing come up <laughs> until it was almost too late. All right. Oh, we actually have to be careful as well, because this is where we almost crashed. Or no, this is where we did crash, kind of in this general area. Wow, the sun comes up fast once it starts coming up. All right, let's uh, slow it down a little bit. Sun's almost up. We'll be able to see those uh, those areas where there's ore. Let's keep going off this way. Uh, okay, we're in the dunes now. Let's, uh, let's real quick take a peek back towards our base to see if we can remember where it is. Nope, have no clue. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> we'll find it eventually. As long as, if it, if it comes nighttime, we know that we need to go back towards the uh, planets. So, that's, um, yeah. We also know where the sun rises uh, in relation to our base. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go around this mountain right here. Or this little hill and I'm gonna turn around to the left because the Sun's in our eyes it's making it very difficult to see any any uh, white spots so let's uh, let's go over this dune and turn around well we found a little bit of ore so let's see maybe this is silver no this is also iron we've also found what looks like a crevasse of some kind uh, I don't want to get too close to this but good lord that's Wow that's a deep crevasse Maybe there's ice down there, who knows. I don't really know how we would get down there. Without, um, without like a ship. But alright, we know the location of a crevasse now. And yes, I'm totally saying crevasse to annoy you guys. <laughs> alright, let's go to where that, uh, where that tree is over there. Maybe we'll see some ice. Wow, that's, that is death for a rover, is what that is. It's the quickest way to ruin your rover in two seconds. Oh, there's a green area. And some ore! Ooh! What kind of ore? This is iron. Okay, it's just iron, it looks like. Oh, it, it, it changed for a second there, but I think it was just iron. Yeah. It was just iron pointing to a different direction. Um, now, this is a green area if I've ever seen one. It looks like there's also another crevasse over there. So we've entered, like, a biome of crevasses. The other the other crevice, by the way, was back over there. Let's, um, let's go down here, see if there's any ice. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe there will be some right here. I'm not seeing any. We'll go down to those trees, but I don't think there is any uh, going to be in here. All right, yeah, let's uh, let's turn. Well, hang on. Is that some ore I see right there? It might be. It might not be. I saw something. What looked like something under the ground. Maybe it's ice. Who knows? Uh, no, I'm not seeing any ice here either. Okay, let's turn around. We'll try and go straight up the crevasse wall right here. We have some ores over here. That's going to be the silver, I bet you. It's going to be the silver. That's nickel and iron and cobalt. That is something to mark. Let's press P. Um, I actually don't think we have any things to mark with, though. Oh, we do. We have some. Okay. 
Let's uh, let's build like a t uh, like a little tower, and we'll give it like a little uh, a little symbol. <laughs> there we go. Three for three materials. That is actually pretty good. Now, uh, one thing I was thinking about doing in this series as well is building a mini base that would have like a, like a refinery on site. This might be where we want to do that because there's three materials in one area. That might be a really good place to uh, to do something like that. All right, let's start turning back towards our mountain, which I think is off to our left, but I could be totally wrong. We've gone so far, I really don't know where we are. <laughs> but I think we've been making a full circle to the left. Let's get over this mountain and we'll turn. All right, I'm lost. <laughs> I think I'm lost. I don't know. Maybe maybe when we uh, crest this hill right here, we'll see um, we'll see our base. But I th like I thought it was in this direction, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, okay, I do see some mountains over there, which is promising, and there are some over there as well. I think that might be ours though over there. Or maybe that one off to the left. That looks kind of like what ours looked like. But it seems like it's too close. Oh well, let's let's just go to it. And, um... That's gotta be it, right? Or those. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which one it is. Okay, let's just go to this one. This one looks like it's it's in the... No, because there, the, there wasn't another gigantic hill, though. Well, let's go to it anyway, I guess. It could be that over there. Oh man, we're so lost. Oh, there it is! Okay, I see I see the towers. Okay. Just from this angle, it looked really weird. There's a crater right there, which I don't think we've ever explored. Unless that's just the voxels being weird. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, because I, I didn't recall there being like a crater right there. Okay, well, since we know where our base is on that giant mountain... Uh, let's let's continue this way, see if we can find some stuff. You can do it. Just just a little bit of silver. Maybe even gold. I, I would take gold. We don't need gold, but I would take gold. That's cobalt. That's actually closer cobalt to our base, so let's just kind of remember that we have some behind our base. And let's go out this way. Ah, okay, there's some stuff. Oh, there's some over there, too. Is that ice? It's under a green area, so there's always a chance. I don't know that ice would have the marker, though. But uh, but let's check it out. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. That's nickel. That's silicon. That's uh, I think I saw cobalt there as well. Nickel, silicon, and cobalt. This is worthy of a marking. Uh, okay, that's not going to go without us. Three, four, five. We'll go six. And then there's some close by over there as well. I don't know if you can see it. But if that's like a different material than these three, then that's really good. Silicon, cobalt, and nickel. Wow. Okay, let's back up and, and go check out these other ones as well. Just need a little bit of silver. Lest we have to turn and return without silver. Silicon, silicon, and silicon. I don't need silicon, I need a silver. <laughs> oh, that's a nice mountain over there. Wow. It's a big one. What have we here? Some nickel, some silicon, some cobalt. This looks to be some iron, and then over here looks to be some iron. Okay, on this hill it looks like we have iron, and that's it, perhaps? Yes. Silicon, nickel, nickel, and nickel. We have cobalt over here. It's cobalt. We're getting a lot of cobalt. Alright, we're making a return trip to our base. It's kind of in that direction somewhere, past that mountain. Um, we're getting a little bit far, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna turn around and we're gonna hit some stuff on the way back. That's cobalt. Okay. For a second, nothing appeared there. I was like, hmm. A bit of silver, maybe? No, just cobalt, silicon. Uh, I think we have a storm coming in. Uh, we have a dust. Okay, we have a dust storm. Let's um, let's start heading back towards our our uh, our base then, which I think is over here somewhere. Actually, I really don't know. I think it's over here. I hope it's over here. Ah, look at this. Silver! Yes! Yes! Finally! Oh, I'm never going to find this again. Um, but I'll mark it. 
I'll mark it as best I can with a tall, 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 tall tower. Okay. Maybe it'll go out like that with a T. Okay. We have found silver. Now, can we find our base? That's the question. Okay, let's go down and get some of the silver. I'm going to go in from this angle over here. You may have noticed how when we when we drove over it, it wasn't apparently... Like, it wasn't immediately there. We didn't actually see where it was until, um... Until, until like, we drove over it a little bit more. It took a while. That's because it's just barely out of range. Okay, let's dig down there. Get some of this silver. Some of this beautiful silver. Hopefully our, our uh, car doesn't drive away. Alright, there's the beautiful stuff. I built the worst tunnel down here, by the way. So, um, this is gonna be fun getting it out. But let's, uh, let's just go ahead and mine as much of this silver as we can mine. As much of the beautiful material that we can then use to make our, uh, our survival kit. So we don't have to play Space Engineer's Apocalypse Mode. Where, where one death equals the end of the series, because we respawn on, on, uh, on a different area. Alright, we got one inventory full of silver. Let's, uh, let's start heading back. Okay, we're gonna have to use our jetpack here a little bit. A lot of bit. <laughs> Let's start heading back. Um, this is our horrible zigzag way down. It's a spiral. It took a very long time to uh, to do a spiral, but yeah. Okay. Hey, the dust storm's gone. Okay, we need to probably... Where's the sun? Okay, sun's about halfway. Up. Wait, is it going down or up? I think it's going up, and this actually helps us because we know the sun rises over there, and from our base... It rises over there as well, so that actually helps us kind of orient a little bit. I don't know how much silver I want to get. Maybe I'll get one more inventory full. I don't want to get too much, uh, just as long as we remember where it is. And I think we do because I think our base is over there, uh, right on the other side of that uh, of, of this mountain right here. All right, two full inventories of silver gives us about eight thousand silver, which uh, I will happily carry one inventory full on me in case we crash. We'll still have the silver. Uh, now I think our our um. I think our base is over this way, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so we could be wrong, and if we're wrong, then I don't know where it is. That's a pretty high marker, so we'll probably be able to find it, especially if we know that it's this direction. Um, so if the sun rises in the east and sets in the west... Actually, wait, no. I don't actually know that about this planet, because the, uh, the sun is different in the game. Uh, and, and since I placed the planets, you know. I don't know. Um, okay, yeah, I think I see our... No, I don't see our base. I thought I saw the windmills, but those could be trees. Let's go over this. See what this is. This is iron. This has got to be where our base is, right? There's no other gigantic mountains around it. Unless we're way far... Oh, no, okay, I see it. Okay. So the silver's actually not far from us. We can probably even see... No, I can't actually see the marker, but we know which way it is. We know which direction. A lot of you guys have been recommending that I get the compass mod, by the way. I think we might actually do that. Um, just so we can orient ourselves, because that would be pretty nice. Uh, the only other way we can do it is if we, um, if we like, designate a direction. Like, I mean, in my mind, I know that direction. Like, I kind of think of that as north, that direction over there. And then the direction I just came from, I kind of think of it as south. Just off the top of my head. Um... But but yeah, so let's get this silver back and let's get that uh, let's get that survival kit built and let's get that uh, other thing the med bay built because silver is really the prerequisite for those things. So now you can kind of see why why I wanted these uh, little structures here. By the way, it kind of makes it easier to uh, to drive these things. Okay, park this, hop out, and let's throw this in the refinery, which is still going. All right, refinery. How about that silver? Uh, once you're done, actually, with that, I think I need, as far as medical components go, I think I need maybe three for the survival kit and 15 for the, uh, for the other thing. So let's make 20, and that should be good. Um, we have one. Cool. <laughs> it's a third of the way towards the survival kit. Alright, let's let those be built, and then we'll build, I think we'll put the survival kit on here again. Um, just for now, and then we'll put the, the actual med bay uh, somewhere over here. Is there a storm coming? 
Nope, weather is clear. I want to get one of these in our uh, in our base as well. I think we can. I don't know for sure, but I think I think any monitor can display this stuff, right? We can try it. There we go. So now if I press K and I go to the bottom here, I should be able to display a script. Uh, and I should be able to set that to these. So I can set the weather, the jukebox GUI, the vending machine GUI. Um, I want to set the weather. And we'll even, we'll even change up the font and everything. So the background, I want to be straight up black. And the foreground, maybe blue, green, I don't know. Green sounds good. Yeah, there you go. Upside down. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Okay, so now we have a weather indicator right here. Uh, I would love for it to, by the way, uh, if I could have like an actual script that would change the color of this based on how severe it is, that would be kind of cool. But um, but yeah, that's that's going to be helpful. So we can just walk over here, we can say, oh, how's the weather? It's clear. Cool. <laughs> Alright, let's grab these things, medical components. Uh, and we'll be able to build our first um, survival kit. Alright, we're able to spawn now because we have this uh, this survival kit. Um, now that we have a survival kit, I actually don't care to be holding on to these things. I'm just going to throw them back into our O2H2 generator. Um, we don't need them right now. We'll just be able to refill right here. Uh, I do need to find some ice eventually, though, because I'm going to start running out very soon. Um, okay. Let's, uh... We need another ten. But, uh, but anyway, let's start the, the, uh, med bay. Maybe right here for now. Uh, we might move it eventually. We need a lot of interior plates. We'll grab as many as we can. I don't think we can make them all because we're kind of running low on iron, so we do need another iron trip. Alright, everybody, we have run out of iron, it looks like. Um, so we're gonna have to go on a little iron expedition. Uh, I think eventually we're gonna want to build some sort of iron harvesting thing, because I'm really slow with this thing. Actually, can I build a second level tool? Uh, this one requires platinum, which we obviously don't have, but this one only requires silver. Let's throw that in first, and let's disassemble something. And that's gonna that's gonna allow us to build this. A level two hand drill. That we've skipped level one, we're going immediately for level two. That is going to allow us to mine faster, which is pretty much exactly what we need. Now, um, we have iron really close by, so we can just go out to this one. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do was start I, I already mentioned this for the um, uh, like starting a mini base for a material. So it's really good to have for iron. Uh, now, I know we located some iron pretty far out with other stuff, but I might start one here. Like, just a really small mini base with, a, like, a container and a basic refinery or something. Uh, and a battery. Just something that we can, like, kind of put here and allow to refine so we don't have to just cargo things back and forth. I don't know. Might be a good idea. Maybe not. Who knows? Um, character weapons. Let's grab... Or character tools, rather. Let's grab the level 2. And that is now our new miner. Uh, let's go in from this angle right here. I mean, the other option is that we can, um, we can back our car in. If we, like, started down here, we could potentially back our car into the area. Okay, so we have, like, a little tunnel like this. If we want to get our car in, I think we're probably going to have to pave it. Or, like, not really pave it, but, you know, put blocks. Um, so let's put a couple blocks like this, and we'll try and make a gradual uh, decline. Okay, I don't have enough steel plates to complete this, but something like that... That's a little safety so we don't drive into it, but uh, something like that. Let's see if we can get our, our uh, car to um, get in there. This might be a really bad idea, but we're going to try it. Actually, this might be a really bad idea considering the blocks aren't actually welded. We just need to be very careful. Okay. Okay, slowly. Oh, man. Okay. Let's turn around so we can actually see. Yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. It's not wide enough. Okay, that's fine. Let's let's just park our car out here. I'll uh, I'll even back up a little bit so that we can be facing it because that's where our uh, our cargo container is. Okay. Eventually though, this will be a pretty cool idea to uh, widen this a little bit and let, allow our car to get back here so that we can get to the iron, which is this way. It's just like right under us. Oh, this thing is fast. Good lord. Look at this. 
I've never seen such speed. Our inventory is already full. I know some of it is iron, but I'm going to just carry it with me because why not? Or some of it's uh, rock, but I'll just carry it. More iron. Oh man, look at all this stuff that we didn't pick up even. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. We're already full again. Yeah, this this is this is what makes the difference. If we could have our car parked right there, it would just it would just make everything easy. That would be the solution. We should be able to get a full a full container. I was worried before. I was saying we don't actually need two full uh, two uh, medium containers on that thing because we couldn't even get the iron that we wanted. Like it would it was just taking a very long time to get a full inventory. But with uh, with level two thing, oh, it's fast. It's real fast. You know, you know, actually, this might be the solution. Um, it's easier than setting up a, a way for our car to get down here. If we had a box right here that had a conveyor that connected to an output right here, we could just connect our ship up to it and, uh, and pipe things directly into our ship. That might be the solution. I don't know how big this iron vein is. Um, honestly, I, I don't think I've ever um, completely exhausted a vein of material in this game. Which might be kind of a noobish thing to say. Some of you may have done that with large miners. But uh, but I don't think I've ever done it. So maybe it's something to uh, to do. We'll set this up as our main iron uh, area. And we will set up the infrastructure to allow us to very quickly mine out all this stuff. Honestly, what we could do is we could dig a hole. And then have a, 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 a collector down there. And have that pipe back up to something else. So we wouldn't even have to collect it. we just keep mining. It would fall with gravity into the collector. And the collector would pipe it up to our ship. You could set something up like that pretty, pretty, uh, pretty easily. Inventory full. I mean, you have to be careful when you're mining because you, you're obviously creating holes elsewhere. Um, so the collector might not always be efficient, but still, could work. All right. So in total, that's thirty-eight thousand iron. We still have some of these silver from left over, and we have uh, ten thousand stone as well. Uh, plus a little bit more iron and stone, actually, that, I, that I'm just going to keep on my person. It's always a good idea to keep some of the material on your person, because if your, uh, if your cargo thing gets destroyed, there's a chance that everything in it's lost. Now, when ours got destroyed with the cobalt, it actually just dropped it. But I have seen instances where the materials just disappear, so you definitely have to be careful. Alright, base, sweet base. We are back with plenty of iron. That hopefully you will find in uh, in no time flat. All the other iron, by the way, all the previous iron was refined in the basic refinery. This iron is going to be refined in the real refinery, which I believe is more efficient than the basic refinery with materials as well. So let's actually get the stone first, because stone is just blazing fast. All right, and it's already working on the iron. So with the last trip of iron that we did, we only got like three thousand iron from it. But from this one, I imagine we're going to get a lot more iron. Like, that's already a thousand, and we haven't even gone through very much of it. So that, you know, that's good to know. Let's get some of the stone. Because, again, very, very fast refining of stone. Look at this. There it goes. Alright, last inventory full of iron coming right up. And here it is. This thing's kind of slow. We might need to add some uh, some some speed modules on them and efficiency modules as well. Yeah, look at that. We already have six thousand iron. I think we're good. Let's 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 just let's get a thousand. Let's get uh, let's get a thousand. Let's get two hundred, two hundred, three hundred even, a uh, hundred, a thousand. Um, computers. Let's get another hundred. I'm just trying to get things set up uh, that we might need in the future. Is that it? Motors, maybe? Get 500. It's always nice to just throw on all of the materials. Just say, make everything for us. But yeah. Alright, everybody. This is a good place to end the episode. Uh, episode number three, it might not look like we did very much, but we found silver, which was our main concern. We got that set. Oh, wait. You know what? Before we end the episode, real quick. Let me just uh, um, throw these on before. Throw these on and throw these on, I believe. All right, and here we go. This is going to be our... this thing. It's not going to do much um, at the current moment. We can't get any hydrogen or oxygen from it because it's not connected, but we can get power and we can get health and we can respawn. So that's good. 
All right, this is going to be the end of episode number three. We got a lot, we did a lot in the way of mining and setting ourselves up for next episode, where we're hopefully going to build out some of the hangar and maybe even some of that. Depending on what you guys think we should do about the situation over there, should we uh, just go straight into the mountain here or should we build like a secondary base maybe over there um, when we want to build into the mountain? Um, also, by the way, one other idea before we end the episode, someone mentioned this in the comments um, about how cool it would be to build like a lighthouse. Could you guys imagine that? Like a lighthouse maybe up on the top of that right there with a rotating light? Now what the person in the comments did, I forgot the name off the top of my head so sorry about that, but uh, but they mentioned that like a different color for each direction would be kind of cool. Um, that way we would know kind of how to orient ourselves. I think it might be cooler to have a rotating light because that would be awesome, but um, but the different lights or the different colored lights would be pretty cool as well. So uh, let me know what you guys think about that as like a major build that we can work on in this uh, in this series, that'd be kind of cool to put up there. Then anytime we're off over there, we'd be like, oh, hey, there's the lighthouse uh, right on top of that mountain. Just like we can see those and know immediately where our base is. But anyways, just a just an idea. Um, okay, that's going to be the end, end of episode number three. Uh, we built some stuff. We built some stuff. We got some mores, and, uh, and, and we've set ourselves up for a good future and a good episode number four. Uh, but anyways, if you guys like that, please hit the like button, put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section, and I will see you guys in episode 4 of Space Engineers Survival.